Ooh, what's up guys? Of course, welcome to another video from me, Des Garander. And today we're actually going to talk a bit about something a bit different. Uh, I decided to do a bit of mini-series with, of course, uh, the weather conditions in Pokemon. Now, Pokemon only has four, so it's going to be like a top four of those abilities. And of course, I'm going to start off with the worst one. Um, <laughs> for very, for very real reason, this is the worst one. And that is Hail. Uh, now, Hail has a few perks, don't get me wrong here. Uh, Hail boosts, of course, the accuracy of Blizzard to a 100%, which is, of course, a very, very powerful move. Uh, so that's worth keeping in mind. Plus, Blizzard has buffing effects. Now, people might not realize a buffing effect is a still a thing, but it breaks sturdy. While Sandstorm is a reliable way to break sturdies, most Pokemon that has sturdy is rock types, which actually is immune to Sandstorm. So, Hail is the only real way of actually getting around that. If you aren't using Hazard, that is, which most people, of course, do. What we have more worth mentioning. I think that's about it, actually. It's kind of sad. Um, and, of course, when I will get Snow Warning, Snow Warning is a way to set up Hail if you don't want to use that move. Uh, for Generation 4 or 5, it was restricted to Snover and Obama Snow. I actually moved around or late Generation 6, where Amora and Aurora got that. And until, I do believe, last week, uh, Aurora's was available for PU, so Hail was definitely a very powerful weather condition, and probably the only weather condition in that kind of environment. So that's worth, of course, keeping in mind. Um, of course, Glaceon got really powerful because of that. And that's, that's the thing, sadly. The only Pokemon that benefits from Hail, and like I said, it has no defensive boost, like, let's say, Sandstorm, for example. Um, it only is like a buffering, staggering kind of uh, environment, and the only one that benefits from it is other Ice types. Sadly, as you guys know, Ice type is a great offensive typing, but not so good defensively. And um, we actually have Snow Cloak, which I just can mention right away. It's banned by Smogon rules, but it boosts your accuracy by twenty percent. And the one we're gonna talk about is Snow Body, which probably is the only real ability that benefit from hail. It basically recovers like leftovers in the hail. Which is the road. I do believe that's eight percent of HP each round, which is fine. And the Pokemon that gets it are not that fine though. We got the Glalie, which of course the Mega Pokemon is superior to. Wall Rain, which sadly while it just benefited from because of its high amount of HP, it still is a bit on the slow side. Uh, Vanillox has a better ability, if you ask me, which is going with weak armor. Uh, and then we got Avalog, which probably is the better choice for Ice Body, if you want to use that. And um, it has probably enough enough HP to benefit from that. And then we got the ones that are in the hidden ability with Dugong, Glaceon, which actually, like I said, if you have to choose something, and it's actually a, a fine <laughs> ability to go with. And Red Eyes, though Red Eyes, its hidden ability is locked. And Ice Body is his hidden ability, and I don't see it really helping it that all that much, to be honest. And sadly. And with all that, that is actually the first episode. There is not a whole lot to tell you guys about Hail. Most people already know how that ability works. And like I said, it's a fine ability. It's just... It had, doesn't really have that extra edge. Like I said, it breaks sturdy. I can see that being a main perk. And also, it uh, negates um, a recovery from Morning Sun, uh, Moonlight, and uh, I do believe Synthesis, yes. Um, so from 50% to 25%, so that's a good thing. It stops uh, Stolly Pokemon from recovering, besides of the likes of Recover. Um, but that's really all. It's very, very... I'm not gonna lie, it's a very underwhelming ability and uh, or wear condition. So basically, I really hope the next generation this thing actually change up a bit. Um, Hail is really, as of right now, not a competitive weather condition as the other three generally are. Like the other three are so much better than Hail, and it's kind of annoying and a bit sad actually. Consider that Hail has actually been around since Generation Three and hasn't really stepped up like the other abilities. But yeah, with all that said, I hope you guys enjoyed, of course, this video, of course. And if you did use that, make sure to leave a like, and I'll give you the three episodes as the week goes on here. So until then, guys, take care. Bye.